Now at four, your community focus. We're talking COVID-19 today with Dr. Jim McDonald from the Rhode Island Department of Health. He joins us every week here on 12 News Now at four. Dr. M, always a pleasure having you with us. Kim, thanks for having me. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday to you. Dr. M, we learned today that Rhode Island could get roughly 29,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccine by the end of this month. But I have a logistical question for you. We know that these vaccines require two shots. So does that mean that 29,000 people will get vaccinated or only half that number? Yeah, so Kim, I think think about it this way is everybody needs two shots. So yeah, so when we get our first set of doses, roughly half those people are covered by that, but we're going to be getting more doses every week. I expect we're going to be getting a little bit less than 10,000 doses every week. You know, it's it's not a lot, but you know, we're competing with the whole planet for a vaccine. So I'm kind of thankful for what we are getting. So, you know, we're going to get started. I'm excited about what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. This is what we've been waiting for. I think it's it's optimistic news. That initial 29,000 doses, Dr. M, I know you said we'd be getting more over the cor course of weeks, but is that initial amount enough to cover all of the people currently in phase one, which are, you know, healthcare workers, first responders, people in congregate care? Probably not. It's probably enough to get us a good way, though. In other words, about 8,500 folks are in nursing homes. So we want to cover that group of people as well. A lot of healthcare workers in the state, though. So we want to look at how that works as well. And keep in mind, it's two doses. And just the other thing to keep in mind is because that vaccine gives you an immune response, a number of people after they get the vaccine, they're gonna feel like they got a little viral infection. That's normal, not a side effect, it's just normal from this vaccine. And that's gonna be okay. So we're working out the logistic, because obviously you don't wanna give a whole hospital the same vaccine at the same time and then have you know everybody feel sick in a couple of days. So we have to work out those logistics as well. And a reminder to folks though, this vaccine doesn't actually contain the coronavirus. No, it's interesting, it's a, it's a great new vaccine. What it does is actually inject a little messenger RNA, which is a little message to your cells. It sends a little blueprint to your cells to go actually make the protein that the virus would make, and then you make antibodies. So it's really quite clever because it just sends you this blueprint. You make the protein, and then you make the antibodies, and then that protein goes away because proteins don't last forever. So it's kind of like it shows up at your house, builds something, leaves, and then it goes away, but you're left with a protected immune system. After you get both shots, because this one's important, you know how sometimes you do one shot and say, yeah, I'm okay. This one, you need both of them. So when you're doing it and they give you that appointment for the second vaccine, you go ahead and block your schedule because this is one of those important dates you're gonna wanna keep. Knowing what we know about how much vaccine we'll be receiving, where do you think we'll be come January and February? Yeah, I think we'll be in an interesting place. How's that for not answering your question? And part of what I have to be honest about, my friends, is we're still seeing our cases going up. And, and here's where we just have to be honest is the vaccine's going to take a little while to make, take an effect. So the vaccine's not going to make a big difference right away. It's going to help a few people right away. And that's, you know, that's great. We want to help those other people. But for the vast majority of us, we're still susceptible. Keep in mind, around 90% of Rhode Island is still susceptible, it means we haven't had the disease. As much as it sounds like things are bad, the vast majority of us haven't had this yet. So it's still in our best interest just to prevent getting it. And I think people might be a little tired of the pandemic. I get it, I'm not, I don't get tired. Uh, but it's just important to remember, we really need to prevent getting this. Dr. M, we were talking a little bit earlier about some former presidents who say they're going to get the COVID vaccine on television to prove that it's safe. Uh, I don't wanna put you on the spot here, but when it is available to you, would you do the same? Oh, sure. Why not? I'd be happy to. And, and I'll throw it out to you this way. One concept I have to think about, though, is like I use in the Navy. And one of the concepts I learned from the commanding officer is the commanding officer always takes care of their troops first. So if there is something that's important to do, but a little bit of a challenge, they lead. If there's something really great going on, they let everybody else go first. Like if it's a banquet, the troops eat first, then the CO eats last. So what I have to do is say, hey, look, if it looks like the demand is going through the roof, I don't want to take a dose away from someone else. Uh, but if it looks like people need me to lead by example, I'll come right over to the studio. Can we do it right there? <laughs> Sounds good, Dr. M. Uh, we are now four days into the two week pause and the governor sounded pretty optimistic today about how, um, you know, people are complying with travel regulations, business compliance. What's your sense of how things are going right now? Yeah, I, th I think people are making some tough choices and right now we need to make some tough choices, you know. I, I'm optimistic about what I'm seeing right now. I've made some tough choices. My mom turns 85 this Sunday. 
we were planning on going up to upstate New York, visiting mom, giving her present and purpose. And, and their mom was excited, you know. What we did Monday when we saw the pause was finalized. We went to the post office and mailed our gift and set up an arrangement for 11 o'clock Sunday morning. We're gonna have a Facebook protocol. Other things the McDonald family is sacrificing about, and this one's probably more important, is the daughter has a boyfriend, but not visiting over the next two weeks. So that's real for people who live in my home. And I think it just gets to like, this is the time where it is not a drill. It's time for personal sacrifice, but it's for long-term benefit. So that makes sense to me as a, as a dad, as you know, as a son too. My mom's going to miss me and I'm going to miss her too, but we're going to make it okay. Dr. Jim McDonald from the Rhode Island Department of Health, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Kim. You guys have a great rest of your Thursday. You too.